Hello once again, it's your boy That's No Moon, and we are up against Volcare. Now, Volcare has 561,000 lifetime banners. Uh, I'm on around about 570. The first thing I noticed was the successful battle defense, only 333. Now, I set a paper defense and I've got 410. Um, he has got some very good ships, so like very close to finalizer seven star holdo's one as well he's got the btl the rebel y-wing etc it's all the right ships and as we know ships cause us issues at times now he does have a r8 relic seven. Oh yeah this account was 5.3 uh don't let that fool you he just hasn't like geared up a lot of the characters as well so i think it's more like a six million the second gl he's only just um unlocked over the course of the last day or so so um he does have like an absolutely insane amount of damage on this supreme leader kylo ren relocate you'd expect that um but as i said jedi master luke isn't coming into play um on this one anyway so it looks like he was a couple of days from lock-in crazy speed on uh, on hux 322 uh it's quickest character officer doth revan um, not so well yeah a little bit shabby at 315 but when you're switching over to galactic legends uh, i would assume that he's waiting to shift him over to jedi master luke uh, so just as I go through these, this is probably the guy in the pool that I was uh, the most worried about, closest in terms of lifetime banners, um, and knows what he's doing as well, won his last three uh, easily in 5v5, so um, actually uses the team that I um, with the Han Solo as well, that's interesting in Arena. So I wonder if he has seen the video before that I did, uh, this was a long long time ago with uh, Grandmaster Yoda um here's what we set for defense we're still i like the front like the back um just to strip some banners give us the advantage on the ground and then we're going to go into ships and hold on to our hold on to our balls because uh this is going to be rough so no two ways about it so we're going to need to be efficient first and foremost we need to get through and i was surprised to see kylo at the front um first and foremost grievous nothing too scary there uh relic four i will take that all day long and the b1 b2 as i said the reason i like splitting them up is because it gives you two problem teams so i go newt b1 b2 and then i go grievous magna and droidica so if they're going to use jedi on it they're going to use jedi if not that's fine as well um Night Sisters liked how it worked last time. No reason for me not to. I think it's a great trade off um, for like 50, what is it, 51, 52. So uh, I think it's a great trade off in terms of, uh, in terms of this. So we're going to go to work first and foremost on B1. Uh, B, sorry, B2. B1 is pretty much going to kill himself off straight away. Uh, so I'm not really too worried. And yeah, a lot of stuff. As I said, this um, Tal's in lead is absolutely amazing. And actually, is um, is Grievous gonna gonna kill himself off? I think yeah, he did. So make sure we get full or as full of banners as we were ever gonna get. So fifty one, I'll take that all day long. And we've got Padme there. We've got a crew there as well. Now, crew this time doesn't have KIU in there. KIU took out our Poggle last time. Just checking, as you know me by now, just checking the potency on these guys. A um, little bit better, 92%. I think mine's at about 110%. And I'm actually going to um, 60 the, the potency cross on him as well, uh, just to give me an extra bit of potency. I've got a lot of mods on Malik, so Malik's mods are like really good, 311 speed, and I've got a load of rolls that can also like speed roll again. So I probably will, and there's a lot of like uh, either defense percent or protection percent as well, which um, which can roll again. So I, I've kind of overlooked his for rolling 6e mods, so I think I'm going to maybe have a dabble in them. Uh, okay, here we go. So we're going to go straight in for Kenobi and do the biz oh nasty a healing immunity okay so there's our first drain nice big drain there can't do anything through that foresight at the moment unfortunately uh, they're packing a little bit of a punch so we get to our second one and now straight in on to anakin he'll very likely get fear on him yeah very soon so stun and 
that's the beauty of sort of taking out the as soon as the tank is gone in this team it's um you've got to be pretty unlucky to lose this anyway there we go and then when it comes to padme yeah she, yeah she's she's as good as done so rinse and repeat as i say i really like this trade-off i will gladly take uh malakin versus padme and deal with the darth revan in the back i i don't really mind that too much um so yeah, feeling good at the moment, feeling good about this fight, and off to a decent enough start. So they were the two easy ones on the front wall that I didn't have to do much thinking about. Kind of in a must, so the last one that we faced, um, now this one's got a lot more health. He doesn't have as much defense. Uh, speed is very low, though. He's going to get an extra 30 percent from the, uh, thirty speed from there. Time Pilot, um, pretty much junk, not worried about him. Sith Trooper's an interesting addition here. And he had like pretty insane offense as well. So yeah, let's go in. And I like the way that the Geonosians performed last time. So I'm going to give him another shot just to see if this is a fairly reliable counter. And as I say, I don't feel like the, the, the freak bit of luck where Kylo Ren stunned uh brute and then took his uh taunt away and then kylo was able to one shot uh poggle i don't think that happens in this one there is crit immunity there but we should be able to get through it just nice so that's the main threat so target down first order tie pilot here um he recovered quite a lot there you know so now annoyingly i've got the uh i've got to deal with this taunt so i can't quite get there and now I've got a uh, hope that Spy hits hard enough to get through Kylo Ren and Mars. We all saw last time how annoying that can be. Uh, give me a give me a goddamn dispel already. So here we are, chirping away. There we go. We got rid of the dispel. Uh, taunts back up. Uh, okay, let's see what we can do. Let's get rid. Keep see if we can get him just out of protection. Ugh, not enough, not enough. And that's what I was worried about with this team. Um, I think there's a huge amount of potential to time out, but I do think that you have to have that offense up, crit chance up. You've got to have everything going for you. And to be honest, I'm going to try and take out, stall a little bit, take out first order TIE pilot here. And okay, that's not a bad spot. I've just got to... Unfortunately, the taunt there, I can't do anything. Should have probably targeted uh, TIE Pilot there. He does a little bit of um, healing up as well. Nice. Got that one done. Mm, okay, let's see if we can knock that little bit of protection down. Just a basic, try and recover some protection. And are we in a good spot? We've got all the buffs. Nice dodge. Just about enough. So that was a hit for 128,000. He had 120,000. And there we go into Bronzium. Um, ding, ding. So I think that, yeah, that was that was when I was actually attacking. My apologies. Sorry, I've got notifications going off all over the place. There isn't an, a Relicate Kylo in the back. I will take that all day long. I do know what I want to do um, with that Karth team, though. That's specifically why I try and keep my car um out of there i do like as i said with my defense i put dooku i put um mission and karth in there as well so let's start away on karth and let's start taking a hammer in and i was thinking about this counter you know because over the next sort of 30 seconds or so i'm just hammering away and i completely forgot about basic getting healing immunity out there and I think by absolutely stacking Zalbar with like tenacity, some really good tenacity mods, and making them quite quick as well, I think it might be a real issue for Kylo. I don't think this is a gimme in all honesty, because um, as you can see here, they they do get like a lot of protection back. And it's at this point I start to realise, oh, okay, I might not be getting through here. So it's at this point I then remembered I've got healing immunity on my basic. Well, maybe not quite at this point, but um, <laughs> in a little while anyway. Still hammering away. Yeah, and it's it's just not really doing much. 
So, as I said, I think I've got a yeah AOEs. I'm not taking mission down like any time soon either. There it is. So healing immunity did remember that. Thank God. I've got a blind on, so a little bit annoying. Um, okay. Nice healing immunity again. I'll take that. Absolutely blinded again. But yeah, this one didn't feel as straightforward as I uh, as I thought until the healing immunity went on there. And this game, I mean, you've you've just got to remind yourself of counters. Um, ideally, not during the middle of a battle, but um, but this one is over now. So ding ding, take that. Fifty six. That'll come in handy a little bit later on. Uh, this guy scores well. I did notice on his um, SWGOHGG page, he loves keeping everything for offense, which is fine because um, more times than not, when I'm I'm in an efficiency battle, I will take that all day long and usually come out on, uh, on top. We've had a bit of action. So this is about eight to ten hours uh, forward. We've had a little bit of action there. We've not held anything. And when we have a look at the back... Now, Dooku, Mission, Zalba, I think he tried to solo Kylo Ren that, and I think that's either timed out or um, he's just like got stun locked or blinded or whatever it is. I'll have to wait to see, um, but that's what I think happened with that one. So that is huge. So now we need to start pressing the advantage and being able to build up a bit of a lead. So it gives us a little bit of a cushion on ships as well. So it says with my counter, what I like doing here. Now, Mild Ben, absolutely love this character. Um, got some decent mods stacked him to the hilt with uh, with potency. So we're going to put out ability blocks, etc. And we get out there nice and quick as well. He's actually the quickest out of a lot of them. And interesting lineup, putting R2 in there as well for a potential stun. Stun is like ugh, pretty OP in uh, in 3v3. But we were able to get that bonus protection out there. I do want to uh, pull the plug on Rebel Officer Leia so she doesn't get her 10 hits out there. That probably would be annoying. But even with that bonus protection up, I don't think she scratches. And I think we finish this however we play it um, with full banners, I assume. There we go. Put a stun on there. Yep. And this should be a 54. Yeah, 54. I'll take that. So that one, I like that. Probably a little bit expensive for that team, but it does guarantee full banners. Mm. Now that new team obviously worries me a little bit. So I could go Kylo Ren, I could go... Um, but I'm going to try and be as banner efficient as possible here. And I think doing the old, like I did the first round, Skywalker and Ahsoka is probably going to be the best bang for my buck. Um, I've got plenty left for offense, so I'm not particularly worried about um, about like falling short anywhere. Killing off Dooku, obviously with uh, Skywalker, is brilliant because he, he ain't going to revive. Uh, step behind Taunt there, unfortunately, so Droidica probably is going to come into life. Um, see if we can get a cheap kill. No, we don't. And yeah, here we go. So let's dispel. We should be able to get this. Maybe even full banners. Yeah, 55. So I'll take that. And that's a fine trade-off for me, especially in this situation. So it's all going okay at the moment. And I think here now, looking at what we've got left, I've got absolutely plenty. It's just managing the best way to get through what squads are left. As I say, he was fairly efficient. Um... But obviously he has dropped a battle, so that's a huge 20 banner advantage for us. Mm, I never quite know how to play these. And essentially I don't think there's anything like particularly scary. They're always like B mods on uh, on these characters. And I think if you put like decent mods on them, they perform really well. Um but actually, I think, first and foremost, I want to take out the Geos. Geos probably pose the most threat to either banners or um, even a team survival. So I think we go for a solo here. I don't see any reason as to why this doesn't work. Or bar something like really going wrong. Okay, big hit from Spy there. 
Uh, blind, yeah, is, is, is an issue. But he seems to hit through it fine anyway. And I think the health regen on him would be absolutely fine anyway. I don't think it's an issue. So actually, I don't think this one sort of trips up. And I think it's just a matter of time. There we go. Just make sure we finish on full health. And do a kickflip to finish off. There we go. So 55, I'll take that. Again, that's another like min max. I don't think I'm scoring 56 anywhere with it. Yeah, a little bit expensive, but obviously I've I've got it left. I'm not going to not use it. And to be fair, we both we both pretty much had the same thing on um, uh, on offense. He even kept Jedi Knight Luke. So uh, essentially, he didn't place much on defense. Now, the next squad I think probably dealing with is going to be a Mon Mothma. Um, I can't quite remember which one I went for next. But this one I sort of had to think about. I had a feeling after this that he would um, he would be pretty efficient with ships anyway. So all I can do is everything that I can do on the ground. And as we know, basically, my ships um, like pretty much suck anyway. And this was probably a bad choice um, going in here. Yeah, getting pulled back. So, like, pretty bad on banners unless I can recover any. But, yeah, this felt uh, a, a little bit of a bad choice. There we go. 53, I'll, I'll take it. Um, lost a banner, but I think there's better teams out there that probably would deal with it. Probably a Vader. Um... And then I think Darth Revan gets full banners with this anyway. So full banners is what I'm going for. Uh, don't have to get stupid. Certainly don't have to lose a ground battle for any which reason. And actually, yeah, that makes more sense going in with that. Again, I don't think it's an issue for banners unless I want to save it elsewhere. So doing the commentary in retrospect, it's always like, do try and give you my thoughts going through the battles. So yeah, this one, I did choose Darth Revan in the end, but that was the other choice as well. So I'll probably save that one for uh, down. And I was thinking about placing um, like a harder defense as well, because essentially a lot of these teams here, are, you know, I've, I've got no issue with, uh, with getting through at all, any way, shape or form. So I think probably the final, I'm going to be placing a little bit of a harder defense. And yeah, we'll we'll see where we go from there because the first two haven't placed anything really. Like no Darth Revan. I think at the very least I placed Darth Revan. Oh, that's not what I wanted to see. Negotiator and Rebels as well. So I'm going to come back to that one. I'm going to take stock of where we're at. And I know I need to full clear. So if I get stuck behind those ships, um, that's going to be a real issue. Okay, so... Two teams left. I think with Night Sisters, uh, again, I've said it many a times. I think we forget how. I was thinking of Darth Vader solo. Um, but actually, you can never be too careful. I mean, Merciless, Ma Merciless Massacre. You're going to be able to uh, hit past that taunt, and they're going to die pretty quickly. So either, and I don't know why. Well, I know why. Uh, I should have gone with Weapons Tech over here. So I was thinking what Tambor as well. And I probably should have gone through that for the um, no revive. So I thought I'd go in Palpatine as well. And here's the thinking with this one. Getting a free Force Crush and then into Merciless Massacre as well. With another Force Crush should be enough to give me a kill. And then I completely forgot that obviously you've got to kill him twice, haven't you? So... Took out Daka as you as you should, and she came back. So that surprised me a little bit. Took out her. That's that's fine. Took out Asajj again, and I get the um, the revive. Unfortunately, and just going to bleed banners from here on out. So yeah, the extra two meter stun, of course, and just for good measure, Night Sister Zombie comes and taps us. But fifty three. Ain't too bad. So what was definitely the play there as opposed to those two? 
completely forgot about the revive mechanic for some reason. Now, this one I thought long and hard about, and I thought of going a just a Django, like a solo Django. Now, Django, um, he basically has an extra life. He also gains full protection. And last season, I did tend to uh, solo a lot of teams with Django Fat. Has 30% extra speed. Um, well, maybe not scoundrel allies, um, but they have 40% less tenacity. So thinking was here that I could solo in, go straight off, kill Django, Django extremely squishy and 30,000. I think he dies on the first hit. I don't think um, I then go burning and then take out Boba Fett. They're not going to have their extra lives because um, they're not going to they're not going to get me through me twice. Um, and also they're not going to have their extra lives because, you know, with uh, with Django got his Zeta, so they're not going to be revived as well. So. I ended up pussing out of this one and I went with Wat Tambor instead. I thought, well, there is literally no point in risking this one. So I thought, listen, let me put the shield tech on Django and we'll get like pretty pointless putting um, putting that there. No problem with the taunt. I'm going to take out Django here. As I thought, first hit, that's fine. That's a little bit annoying because now I've got to... But yeah, so this was the thinking that I would do with the solo Django was I would uh, then do burning. There's no recovery on the boss kid, like when he's not in his lead anyway. So it wouldn't be an issue. Um, but I think I ended up losing a banner here. But this is pretty good to know that that Django, like basically it's been a while since I've done the no, I, I did lose a banner there. It has been a while since I've done that Django solo. And as I said, there was very little. There was more to lose than there was to gain in that one um, for me personally. So on to ships. So apologies. Uh, don't have enough space on my phone at the moment. I've got to split into two videos. Um, OK, so I asked my guildmate here um, or I asked my guild for advice on this one. And AHT said... Yep, uh, Grievous, standard lineup, go for it. And I said, should I even use Houndstooth as insurance? He said, nope, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, just because I've seen this go south. But he said, I said, will Vulture Droid not get like wiped out in the first turn? He says, yep, that's fine. Uh, you'll get a free one anyway. So took his advice on it. Again, who am I to say anything about ships? So here we go. Um, that's actually a really good move to start off with, um, but that isn't. So I've got days on there. Uh, not too worried. This isn't dissimilar to to what we've seen uh, a lot of the time. And the other thing he said is to focus down on Anakin hard. Can't do anything there, so I'm going to stun, take him out of the game. This was probably a mistake because now um, Ahsoka is also going to cleanse off everything, give retribution to everyone. But I still have buzz droids on there. So that's a good thing. He's understand. I think I get the buzz droids out there on that guy. Um, I'm kind of stuck behind the taunts. I'll try and get him to trigger a taunt. I don't think that an AoE kills him off there. And okay, so the taunt has landed on Ahsoka, which is utterly annoying. Otherwise there, Anakin dies. I uh, couldn't quite get rid of him. And here comes the uh, the loyalty buff. Uh, so I'm in pretty bad shape here, in all honesty. There I can, like, fire at him, but then he goes under stealth again, I think. No, he doesn't go under stealth. So if I... But as I said, I didn't kill him. So aoe there, he goes under stealth, sorry. So that's kind of the issue that I've got. But I don't really have another option. At the moment, anyway. I think we just try and take him out the old-fashioned way. That didn't do as much damage as I'd like. I have got reinforcement coming up. Uh, so have they, though. Okay. Oof, this is looking in shoddy shape. And let's call in Houndstooth, so the insurance. And here's why I thought, yes, I definitely need to bring this ship with me. Um, Lovely job. Lovely job. And remember, at this point, I haven't even killed a ship in their lineup. And they're looking in great shape. 
this is bad. This is really bad. Uh, yeah. I mean, I have got from this phase here, I have got to it before where I... Ha oh, yeah. Okay. Defeat. And preloaded. Did take a screenshot to show AHT how it went. Uh, it went absolutely horribly. So I had got a negotiator here as well. But yeah, that one went horrendously. So I kept the five-star BTL. It is fine at five-star. It is really good chip, actually. Um, okay, what the hell am I going to do here? Outgunned, outmanned. Not a clue what I'm doing on ships. Okay, so here we go. They've took their round of turns. Now try and put a target lock in, in on there. Definitely want to put their turn meter back. And I think I AOE here, actually. Yes, okay, so that's like pretty perfect. Anakin in the red. No taunt out. Don't know why I didn't go for him there. Looking back, I didn't even realise that. Unless he had his um, his buff on him, I can't remember. Let's put unending loyalty on ourselves here. Uh, we are stuck behind a taunt, of course. We should be okay here. We're able to target down Jedi Knight Anakin there. Whew. And let's get some banners back. So we were 36 uh, banners ahead going into uh, the fleet battles. And I needed 88, so I'm halfway there. But I've still got a really tough rebel squad to, to get through as well. And this is something that I, I will thank HT for as well. Now, he taught me through the, um, the finalizer uh, counter to this. And he was saying that silencer, so mark off straight away um, on Millennium Falcon, hit it with TIE Silencer's basic, so it's going to stun, and then call in to assist First Order TIE Pilot, um, SF TIE Pilot, and big shot then, and it should be fine. And I didn't really know what to think about this counter, so this is do or die, basically. So mark on here hunted i am thinking about this one hard yes hunted on milf there we go job done right let's get a stun oh you've got to be kidding me the dodge this is this is horrendous so let's call him in nice let us swap that turn meter over and if we can get rid of millennium falcon this makes my life a whole lot easier Whew too close boys too close but we've still got to mop it up and we've still got to get 45 banners so we can't two shot it this has got to be a win okay this now i i'm in unfamiliar territory he just said mop it up um so let's uh think about bringing someone in first order time pilot gonna put target lot there yep let's do it Okay, nice. We've got him under stun there, which is actually brilliant. Oh, the Phantom. I absolutely hate the Phantom, by the way. Can't get anywhere else, so I may as well just basic. Oh, no, I think I did a big hit, thinking that I would, like, actually wipe it out in one. Um, Oh, that was, that was horrendous. So making sure that I actually do the AoE here as well. I mean, I had, it feels like I had the, bloody y-wing in red a second ago but yeah i know this will be this will be terrible banners even if i get through it stun here finish him off nice work nice work kylo and another reinforcement of course oh that's so many assists right give me that big hit from silencer give me give me a huge hit come on Oh, no, yeah, that's it. We went for the stun. Whew. Do I go hunted again or do I call in? Actually, I might call in Evan Hawk here to dispel the buffs. But then I'm put under the taunts. That's probably worse. So I didn't foresee that. Um, looking for anything here that does AoE. I could have sworn Evan Hawk had an AoE. I'm really at risk of <laughs> timing out here as well. Oh, the big hit. And there goes a, a TIE fight, TIE fighter pilot. 
Um, finish him. Just finish him. Got to get the job done here. Okay, hunted over there. Again, stuck behind the taunt. Okay, let's put in some work here. That was some nice work. Let's go AOE. Let's see if we can... Oh my god, this is, this is horrible playing through this. Oh, don't finish him off. Foresight. Nice dodge. Nice dodge. Okay, let's bring in Zavadu Blood. Let's get an assist off here as well. Well, let's clear the Foresight first and foremost. Uh, nice. Dealt with that one. Mm, was that dodge? Or should Foresight have prop there as well? Right, finally. Let's get rid of... Oh, my God. That, um, with a minute 30 left, that made my life a whole lot better. Is it enough? 51. Let's go and have a look at the scoreboard. And we got there by five banners. So that just shows you every banner does count as well. So taking a screenshot to show off to AHT as well. Thank you very much for the help there. Wouldn't have got through it without him. And good luck with yours. I will see you all next time. And this one was too close for, for comfort in all honesty. Um, thank you for Volcare for a great fight as well. Whew. I'll see you in the final. It's 2-0 to start with. Let's see if we can go 3-0. Let's see if we can pull our ship's performance together. I say this every single season. I will see you next time. Cheers, guys.